All right, welcome back. So today we are doing a speed build. We're here in Oasis, Oasis Springs. Yeah, we're in Oasis Springs, the beautiful desert to do a black and white tiny home. I end up putting some green in because like when all else fails, put plants. And I felt like it worked like black, white and green. It, it turns out to be a pretty cool little house. Like I like it a lot. I struggle with it at several points. Much like I'm struggling with this video, this is the second time recording this audio. The first time I forgot to turn my mic on. So, things are going well. Anyway, here we are, fiddling with some windows. I really, I built this house before Eco Living came out. I'm just voicing it over after eco living came out and i kind of wish i would have waited to do this until eco living came out because it would be so much better with the ladder you could put some solar panels on it like it, this would be a cool build to do an eco living so maybe i will revamp it a little bit and just i don't think i'll make another video about it but maybe i'll just post another one of these to the gallery this build will be available on the gallery so if you have a sim who would love this black and white tiny house aesthetic feel free to pick it up all it will be linked in the description down below so this is me realizing that you can now place windows and doors on half tiles i didn't know it was going to come with the update before like friday like it came with the update in the middle of the week that brought us like the mac makeup stuff and so i just i wasn't expecting it and i was very excited so here i am looking at like all our black couch options I love that houndstooth chair. I hardly ever use the houndstooth items, but they just, they hold a special place in my heart. I think I've mentioned this in a video already, but I was obsessed with houndstooth in like, I don't know, preteen, teen years. And so I just like, it still is just special to me. I also really love this bar card item. I feel like it could be really cool in like some kind of like artsy studio. I know that's probably like, I think it came with like luxury no, it's not luxury party. Maybe it's vintage glamour stuff, but I don't know. I think it could be cool in a lot of builds and I don't place it much. My pet peeve with these island living doors, you can kind of see it here, is that when you place them like this so that the slider is like to the outside, then you can see that like crack of dirt right there and that drives me nuts. So you could probably fix it with some terrain paint if you were like very careful about it, but it just... Mm that irritates me so much like you shouldn't be able to see that and you could fix it by flipping it around but I don't think that looks natural necessarily either so I really struggle with this bit of the floor plan like we have to fit a kitchen a bedroom and a bathroom in this section of the house so it just required some fiddling so I made the house a little bigger it ends up being like a tier two tiny house so you still get lots of benefits um yeah, so here I am. I I really tried not to place so much CC in this house. Like, I don't pl think I placed any. Like, I focused on it hard. But I struggled here because I really wanted to use the um, IKEA stuff pack has this table that slides out of a counter. And I was like, mm. it just it's, it looks so good in little houses. Like, I wish we had that in... The Sims for real. I must have been like petting a cat here or something. I freeze up because this video is sped up five times. So like I stopped for a hot second there. So I get all my black and white items by just filtering by black and white. I think I end up switching out these appliances. I can't remember for sure though. I like the idea of these cool kitchen appliances. I just, every time I place them, they look a little off. Like I feel like they're supposed to look modern. They end up almost looking like fake. And I mean, like, I, I know it's the Sims, like, they are fake, but I just feel like they look fake. I don't know how to explain it, necessarily. Like, maybe I've just never seen an oven like that. I don't know. Maybe I do end up keeping it. Hmm. But anyway, I'm placing these Machino windows. I think these are, like, some of the best windows in the game. And I really like this black and white swatch. I think I end up switching them out to all white later, but I really, I normally place them in all black. And this is really cool. I managed to like hold it together and not place like the two round windows because those are like my actual obsession and I place them everywhere. This is the part of the floor plan over here that I struggled with the most. Like I left all of this in so you guys could see my struggle. We end up going with like a studio style. So like the bed is not in a separate room, 
but there is like a divider there so you would have some privacy but we stop a lot of other places along the way I think most of it came from I really wanted a double bed and I wanted to have a bedroom but I just I didn't want anyone to have to scooch and I just I end up giving up on it like we end up with a single bed anyway so like could have had an actual bedroom and if that's a big deal to you you could always throw up some walls in this house but I like the way it turns out I think it's fun and I think I could see myself playing here like I don't think sometimes tiny houses end up being like kind of a pain to play in if they're not laid out very well and I think I did okay on this one like I think this one would be nicely playable <sighs> I'm still really trying here like and I also didn't want the bed to be up against a window because I don't like when you can see a bed frame out the window just like the little things that just irk me. Like I feel like you wouldn't do that in real life. So. And then we end up going with a single bed. So it's good stuff. I'm really trying to. Ha like I'm having to focus. Because I filmed like most of the face cam. Like most of the voiceover bit already. But without my mic on. So like silently. And so I can't quite always remember like did I say this in this video or did I say this the first time I tried to record this like who knows I also really love this little bed I I kind of wish we had a double bed that looked just like it because I think the double bed that came with it I don't know it's not quite the same here we are placing a I say here we are so much in these videos but anyway here we are <laughs> Placing the bathroom. Black and white I feel like is easier to pull off in the bathroom. I feel like a lot of the bathrooms I do anyway are like black, white, and gray. So just little stuff. Put down some tile. We made one of these showers, which is what I make all the time. I really like, I didn't do it in this house, but I've done it. I don't know if I've done it on a video I did in my cha on this channel yet or if I've just done it on my stream. But I like to use the divider that I think came with like the... Um, I'm spacing out. Is it get together? No, it's not get together. The one that came with restaurants. Dine out. I think it came with dine out and it's like the glass panel that goes on top of a half wall. I like doing that one in a shower a lot. I think it get like the half wall to the shower head. I feel like it gives like a nice vibe. Flashback to me saying vibe in every video ever. Okay. Here I am switching all the windows to white because I decided to make the house like a stark black, which is different. I kind of thought I would plan to make this house white because that's more of a traditional house color but I really love how it turns out but like can you imagine having a black house in the desert your house would be filthy so quickly like that dust I feel like would just show up so easily and look so bad you would have to wash your house all the time like this is unrealistic to the nth degree also this grass object is really cool I hardly ever use that so this is the point when I decided to add green and I decided it was allowed because it looked really good and I wanted this build to look good. So then I went in and just like manually delete this. I messed it up. But I manually delete the ceiling above this one so that we get the light from the little windows I have on the side of the roof piece. Adding some black roof tiles and some white roof trim. And then going through and trying to add more plants. Because what does every build need? Every build needs more plants. I can confirm this. Like I literally spent time at the end here just scrolling through plants trying to find places to place more of them. And then outside, we don't do very much landscaping here. I feel like... Oh, first I do the upstairs. It's been a couple of days since I filmed this. So, pardon me. So we give us or give ourselves a little rooftop area with some activities because in tiny living houses I just feel like you need activities upstairs. I feel like a very sophisticated lady probably lives here. And so I think we give her like a yoga mat and we saw already we planted some planters. I love that you can see the dinosaur in the background. Like I just think that's so so funny. I love that planter that's on like the wire rack. I think it's really cool. I think I end up sizing it down here, yeah, just so I can fit the yoga mat in. And now we're going to do a little bit of landscaping. Oh, my timer's going off. My bread is done um, rising. All right, so we're just going to place some rocks, which I decided was allowed. I, I wasn't going to try to landscape with black and white. I did use the darkest, like closest to black 
terrain paint I could for the path though. So there's that. And then the darkest mailbox I could find and then just a little bit more landscaping, but not a lot. And this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching.